Hello Pisces, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So we're just going to jump right in for Pisces. Angels guide, messages guide, and since I please for Pisces. For the person that you are currently connecting or thinking about, for Pisces, what's going on in their connection at this time? Okay, we have number 37, poverty and unexpected income. So I see here like a turnaround, like a from having nothing to having something unexpected, poverty to unexpected income. Bottom of the deck, the courthouse card. Okay, so this is a card about contracts, um, negotiations decisions, official decisions, courthouses, institutions, etc. So I think that someone's going to make some sort, or at least when it comes to your connection, there is one of you that's thinking about an official change from having lost something or not having something to having something and gaining something back. Okay, we'll see what else they got. What else for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces here regarding their connection at this time? What's the energies and this connection between Pisces? Yep, unexpected event. There's something unexpected here. A uh, surprise, a reveal, and there's love letter. It's going to be a message, an offer, a promise, some sort of a proposal, sweet dreams, and judgment call. Oh, yeah, someone's definitely, for the people that, well, I guess I shouldn't say people, for the Pisceans, Pisces, <laughs> that I'm um, speaking to right now or that this reading is for, Sorry that I can't like gather the words because my mind is going a mile a minute right now. Um, this is something that is a a uh, a shift, a shift that you can see and feel. It's something deliberate. Someone's making a judgment call that is deliberate that will bring about some sort of change. This will be unexpected. This will be surprising, or it'll be you know tower level. You know something that you cannot ignore. Um, something that's not really happening be behind the scenes. This is out in the open. And I feel it's some sort of communication with a love letter here. And this judgment card is definitely that courthouse energy. So it's almost like it's, it's very official, you know. Bottom of the deck, in case you're curious, is moving forward. Okay, so let's see for Pisces. What do we need to know, Spirit, about what's going on for Pisces and this other person? What's going on in this connection? Pisces, feel free to flip the energies as they resonate. Um, you can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance. All of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box. All right, for Pisces, what do we need to know? So what's going on here? The energies between Pisces and their person. Okay, so in your connection, we have Queen of Cups reverse, Ten of Swords reverse, okay. And the Devil reverse, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna put these down for your energies on this side. And for them on the other side. What's at the bottom of the deck? I'm just, ooh, death reverse. Okay, so Scorpio energy here, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Three of Cups, um, Four of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting here, the first message I got with the Ten of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse is that someone, whatever happened that was some sort of ending or whatever happened that was some sort of separation between you and your person, someone doesn't want this to be over. They don't want this to be the end result. And with the Queen of Cups reverse and the Devil reverse, Capricorn energy, by the way, with the Devil and Water energy over here, um, 
I feel like someone's just very torn up about this. Maybe they feel poor, you know, with this poverty card. They've lost something. They're not doing well. This could be emotional poverty, right? Like they're not just, they're just emotionally not doing well. You or this person. It could even be both of you. But with the devil reverse and then death here reverse, it's almost like, I don't know, even if something was my fault, I don't want it to be over. I'm getting that energy. I'll see if that's the case when I clarify. That's kind of what I see so far. Um, I don't think this person has something to really give you right now, but they are thinking of a reunion, of coming together, regardless of making things more stable. Yeah, there's the Knight of Cups. Four of Wands, Knight of Cups. So let's get some clarity here. Can I get some clarity insight for Pisces? What's going on? Four of Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? I'm actually just going to ask for overall clarity on all of these energies because I feel like they're so tightly connected. Um, tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse, Ten of Swords reverse, and the Double reverse. What do we need to know about these energies? What do we need to know? King of Swords, Page of Wands, yeah. What else do we need to know about these energies for Pisces? Two of Cups, yeah. This is very clear energy. Someone wants to take the initiative here. Um, King of Swords is telling me that communication is very important, or at least the truth is very important. And it's almost like someone has a big truth to tell you, or some very important information, but they're they're going about it in this Page of Wands way. Uh, yeah, there's Justice. Libra energy. Yeah, this is very clear energy. Um, Two of Cups is here as well. So, you know, this is someone that views your partnership in, with a very special lens. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Someone walked away from this connection. Um, yeah, there's the moon. There you are, Pisces, and the tower. Exactly. I feel like whatever happened here, there's more to it. <laughs> it's not the end. The story is not over. You know, this love story or drama, whichever it is, it's not over. There's still more to come. And it's because someone's taking the initiative here with the Page of Wands. Someone wants to turn this around. Have justice. Tell me about the Page of Wands. What can you tell me about the Page? Yeah, there's the King of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Exactly. And the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like I could finish this reading here because <laughs> the energy is just so clear. Remember when I said that someone wants to go from having nothing to having something unexpectedly, you know, uh, yeah, um, it's almost like they, they want the opposite, you know, like a 360. There, there's the Wheel of Fortune. That's exactly what the Wheel of Fortune does. It changes things. It brings some sort of momentum events take place events that appear as if they're by magic you know these are important events and someone's making it happen with the eight of pentacles this could be you this could be your person this could be happening outside of you pisces you might not be aware of what's happening but this king of cups is very motivated i feel like some of you are still torn up or at least emotionally um affected by what happened i feel like you might be the queen of cups reverse but so are they they're in this poverty mindset so let's look at your energies on this side seven of pentacles and king of wands you're wondering what's going to happen in the future what does the future hold for you you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius but i think this is more of a symbol for action it's almost like you're wondering what someone's going to do you know what are they going to do next? I feel like you're waiting for something to take place. I think a lot of you too. Um, I'm picking up this energy of 
staying busy. You don't really want to be distracted by this, but maybe it distracts you from, you know, your goals or your, your current projects or your work. Um, because in the back of your mind, there's this thought of what's, what's coming my way. What do we need to know for Pisces? What are the energies that Pisces is bringing to this connection? You are always on my mind. You might be thinking a lot about this person, Pisces. If you are, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments if you would like to share. But I feel like some of you are dealing with the person that you are thinking about what they could possibly do what you can I, I feel like you're expecting something from them tell me about this person that pisces is or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person i'm taking action exactly they're going to be doing something they're taking matters into their own hands here i think it's a message i'm ready to open up exactly some sort of message that they want to send We get some more insight into the energies between Pisces and this person. What do they have? Just curious. The Sun Reverse and the Ten of Cups. Oh, okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. I feel like the Sun Reverse is basically what hasn't been revealed, what hasn't been said. I think this person has kept something to themselves and that's why they're ready to open up. I think they've also been very unhappy and wish it was the opposite. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. What do we need to know about the energies they're bringing to this connection? The black egg, okay. Something about the truth here. The black egg is about speaking from an authentic voice. It's like the truth and nothing but the truth, an honest truth. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with or will be dealing with. Yeah, the tiger. This is kind of like the queen of wands of this deck. And there's the oyster, which is that ready to open up. This is someone that's not open. This is someone that's clammed shut. So I feel like this person, a lot of their actions are happening outside of your knowledge or behind the scenes or something like that. Tell me more about this seven of pentacles and the king of wands. What do we need to know for Pisces? What do we need to know? Yeah, the hangman. So you're probably wondering if anything's going to happen because on on your side here, you have the hangman. So either this person hasn't done something. Yeah, you're waiting for someone. Three of wands. You've been waiting for some sort of action, but I feel like it's more like a sign. Confirmation, maybe. I just got the sense that you're waiting to hear something specific. It's not just, if is this person interested in me? What is this person's intentions? You want to hear something specific. But nothing is happening. Or from your viewpoint, nothing's happening. So, I don't know. Can I get one more for the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Wands? What do we need to know? Strength, Leo energy. Yeah, and then there's the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're waiting for a message. A particular message from this person or at least the truth it's almost like in the back of your mind you already know what this person is going to say or you have an idea but you haven't gotten confirmation you know it hasn't actually happened tell me about this person tell me about the Sun reverse with the ten of cups what do we need to know about the sun reverse with the ten of cups what do we need to know and you've gotten this reading before where what you've waited for you're going to get if this reading is resonating for you, you should check out your playlist which is linked in the description box because recently you've had very similar readings to this where you're there's something that you are getting or receiving pisces that you've waited on Tell me about the sun reverse and the ten of cups. Tell me about the sun reverse and the ten of cups. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. I think this person is very serious about you or very serious about what this balance means with the six of pentacles. Yeah, and there's the queen of swords. They don't play games. 
king of swords what was it king of swords here yeah king of swords is here with the queen of swords you have the ace of swords i feel like um it's very important this message is i feel like a conversation or some sort of truth or information that is going to be like a wheel of fortune it's going to change everything around <laughs> or it's going to start something i think this person has a lot of um i'm just picking i'm literally picturing someone who who's opening up a filing cabinet so it's not just that they're opening up and telling you one thing i feel it's going to be multiple things Tell me about the sun reverse and the ten of cups. Yeah, the fool. It's, this is very clear energy. Um, the fool and the ten of wands. So this is being free of a burden. This is no longer being held back, weighed down. This is being free, light. Um, being able to go on a new journey with none of the old baggage or with none of the responsibilities or burdens that you've had this person is hoping that this conversation does change things for the better or at least you can lay down this ten of wands once we talk right tell me about this queen of swords tell me about the queen of swords what do we need to know about this Queen of Swords? What do we need to know? Two of Wands. And the Tower. Exactly. Exactly what I was just saying. This is going to be a huge conversation with the Tower and the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is almost like... It's almost like nothing will be the same. It's either you go left or you go right. <laughs> that makes no sense, but... In my mind, it makes perfect sense because I feel like, for example, this could be a conversation where you decide it's over or we're starting over one or the other. I feel like this conversation is because you can no longer be stagnant. You can no longer be waiting to make a decision. The decision has to be made. The path has to be chosen. That's why we have judgment call. That's why we had the courthouse card. Because this, this has to happen. And, you know, this is active decision making. I am not talking to a Pisces whose person is at home thinking about them one second and then forgetting about what to do for like three weeks. You know, like, this is someone that is um, taking action. You know, the, the energy is right there. Especially with this like Queen of Wands with the Tiger. They tend to just get things done. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Can I get one more for the Queen of Swords? Yeah, Eight of Wands. So I feel like this is just cl very clear energy. This is going to be in the form of communication. Some sort of message, DM, online message, text, something like that. Obviously, if this person is blocked, do not expect them to be able to contact you, you know? <laughs> Um, I don't know why people like say that in the comments sometimes like I don't know how they're gonna contact me because they're blocked and it's like they're not gonna contact you they can't <laughs> I mean and if they do contact you you won't know it right like you are not gonna know because they're blocked all right what else do we need to know about this person what else do we need to know about this person okay hold on what else do we need to know I don't react when people mention you. Oh. So many things remind me of you. I think you're both doing this. I wish I had treated you better at the bottom of the deck. I think you're both doing this. I just picture you both thinking of each other, but neither of you wants to initiate. And I don't react when people mention you. I almost get like someone doesn't want this. I feel it's that's on your person side. It's like they don't want others around them to know that they plan to take this action towards you. And it's because, in my mind, 
you know, this is someone that would love to keep the rejection to themselves. So for example, this isn't going to be a public message that other people can observe because what if you shut them down? Well, they don't want anybody else to know that, you know, they're going to try on their own away from prying eyes. Um, they might be thinking about doing this secretly, right behind the scenes, but I feel like there's more than one goal, um, that they're doing it's it's like it's not just that they're doing it behind the scenes because they want to surprise you they're doing it behind the scenes as well because nobody else can know about this um and i feel it's because they they're probably fearing rejection uh, because this tower you know and the wheel of fortune the two of wands honestly especially with this energy it could go either way they could succeed or they could fail they could remain this poverty energy or they could have unexpected abundance, right? Like it can only be one or the other. That's kind of what I'm picking up that it could go either way for this person. And I think a lot of you have been waiting for them to be brave, to be this king of wands, queen of wands. You know, you've been waiting for them to tell you the truth that you somehow already know Pisces. You already know, you just need them to tell you. So that's what I have for the you and them. I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching Pisces. Hopefully I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.